Hello dear students of class 6. I am here with you today at Amar Ghare Amar School. Welcome to today's English class. Hope you are doing great. Today's class is the continuation from last class. Today we are going to discuss about the second part of lesson 8 from English for today book. You can see the title of today's lesson on the screen. Lesson 8, Grocery Shopping. So after the discussion of today's class, we will be able to, number one, use word stress and stress on words in sentences. Number two, ask and answer questions. Number three, participate in short dialogues and conversations on familiar topics. And number four, read and understand text. Now, Imran has gone to the grocery shop with the list. Now, listen to and read the dialogue below between Imran and salesman. Salesman asks, Hello, how can I help you? Imran replies, Do you have any beans? Salesman says, yes, we do. How much would you like? Imran says, I would like half kg. And I will also need one kg of tomatoes, two kgs of potatoes, two cauliflowers, a dozen of eggs, and some salt. Then salesman again asks, do you need oil, sir? Then Imran says, Yes, I need a liter of oil. Salesman again asks, Do you need anything else? Imran says, mm, Let me check. He actually looks at the list and then says, Oh, yes. Could I have some sugar and milk? Salesman says, Sure. How much milk do you want? Imran answers, Just one liter and one kg of sugar, please. Salesman says, Okay, let me find all the items for you. Imran says, Thanks. Please put them in a paper or jute bag. Salesman answers, sure, we don't use plastic bags here. Here you go, I have put all the items here. Imran says, thank you. How much is the total? Salesman replies, the total comes to Taka 535. Imran says, here is 550. Salesman says, Thank you. Here is a change. 15 taka. Have a good day. Then finally, Imran says, Thanks. Bye. Practice B1. Think about the conversations between Imran and salesman. And now answer the following questions. Question A. How many items did Imran buy? What can be the answer? Think about it. Yes, the answer will be Imran bought nine items from the grocer's shop. Question B. What varieties of vegetables were available in the market? Answer will be Four varieties of vegetables were available in the market and they were beans, tomatoes, potatoes, and cauliflowers. Question C. Why do you think Imran asked the salesman to use a paper bag? Write down one or two reasons. So answer will be, I think Imran asked the salesman to use paper bag because 
Imran was aware of the negative impact of polybags to the environment. Now question D. Thank you. Here is a change. What does the word change mean here? Answer. The word change here means the exchanged amount after buying or selling something. Practice B2. Read the sentences or phrases in the eight speech bubbles. Put them in the right order, one to eight, to write down the conversation in your notebook. So, what you are seeing? The eight bubbles. I want to buy an ice cream. How much is it? Here you are. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? 20 taka. Thank you. Sure. There you go. So, let's start. What can be the serial number one? Yes, number one will be Excuse me. Because to initiate a conversation, we start with this kind of phrase. Excuse me. Then number two will be a response. Yes. How can I help you? If I ask someone, excuse me, the reply will be yes. How can I help you? Yes. So what will be the next one? Yes. The next one will be, I want to buy an ice cream. Yes. So how can I help you? The helping situation is that. I want to buy an ice cream. Number four. Sure, there you go. Or when I say I want to buy an ice cream, certainly there will be a reply. Reply is sure, there you go. Then five. Certainly I will ask how much is it? Yes. And then six. The answer, 20 taka. 7. Here you are. Yes, I'm giving the money or someone is giving the money. And last or finally, thank you. So this is a dialogue which can start with excuse me and ends with thank you. Practice C. Think how you talk about quantities when you go shopping. Match the phrases in column A and the items in column B below to make an imaginary shopping list. Write down the list in your notebook. One phrase may match more than one items. So, this is two columns, column A and B. Now we need to match. So let's start. A can of, yes, a can of coke, a loaf of, a loaf of bread, a packet of, yes, a packet of pencils, a tube of, yes, a tube of paint, and another will be a tube of, yes, a tube of toothpaste, half kilo of cake. Then a dozen, a dozen eggs, then a box of, a box of chocolates, then a roll of, a roll of poster paper, then a, a notebook, then a jar of, a jar of honey, and then a sheet of, a sheet of facial tissue. So. These are the phrases we usually use to make a shopping list. So go to the next practice. Practice C1. So these are the phrases. A roll of poster paper, a loaf of bread, a tube of paint, a sheet of facial tissue, half kilo of cake, a jar of honey, a dozen eggs, a box of chocolates, 
a tube of toothpaste, notebook, packet of pencils, a can of coke. So we need to make a category which items will be in grocery item, which will be bakery item and which will be stationary item. So look at the shopping list again. Can you say which items are available in what kind of shops? There are different shops such as grocers, bakers, stationers, etc. selling different things. Put the items under the proper headings in the table below. So what are the tables? Grocers, bakers and stationers. Okay, one is done for you, a dozen of eggs. This is actually found a dozen of eggs in grocers, a loaf of bread in bakers, a tube of paint, stationers. So think about it. What can be the rest? Okay, let's solve it. Uh, a roll of poster paper in stationers, a sheet of facial tissue in grocers, half kilo of cake in bakers, a jar of honey in grocers, a box of chocolates in bakers, a tube of toothpaste in grocers, a notebook in stationers, a packet of pencils, stationers, a can of coke, grocers. So I think uh, we have completed everything. Yes, we have completed the list. Now, very important thing, language focus. The use of some and any. Some and any are very common in statements and question sentences. Both of them modify nouns and indicate quantity of the nouns, but their uses are not same. So let's see. Number one, we use some with positive statement. For example, I have got some photographs. I need some milk. I have got some photograph, positive statement. I need some milk, positive statement. Number two, we use any with negative statement. For example, I haven't got any photograph. I don't see any student here. So, any is with negative statement. Number three, we use any with questions. For example, have you got any photograph? For example, have you got any photograph? Or is there any water in the jug? Now practice E. You need to fill in the blanks with some or any. One to five. These sentences need to be completed with some or any. So let's start. Are there dash flowers in the garden? Okay. Question sentence. So answer will be any. Are there any flowers in the garden? Number two. Yes, there are dash roses and lilies. Positive statement. There are some roses and some lilies. What about jasmine? Are there dash jasmines? Question sentence. Any. No, there aren't dash jasmines. So negative statement. Any. There are not any jasmines. Do you have dash idea why I'm asking you all this? Question sentence. Any. So I think 
you have got the idea where to use some and where to use any. Now let's see what we have learned so far. We have learned about number one, using word stress and stress on words in sentences. Number two, asking and answering questions. Number three, participating in short dialogues and conversations on familiar topics. And number four, reading and understanding text. So this is for today. Follow Facebook and YouTube to see the class again. So thank you very much. Follow the instructions of government and stay safe. Thank you again from Amar Ghare Amar School. Goodbye.